Y'all want to know what it looks like when a swarm comes moving in? Check this out. This is a big old monster cloud of bees. And for some reason, they are liking this shrub over here. Now they are completely unorganized. But this is what the swarm looked like when it comes in. They're really liking it right here. Is this not beautiful? Except for the cars going by. Holy bum. Oh, I'm loving this. Loving it, loving it. Where are you guys gonna land? Come on. Get over here, just get out of this thing. Come on. Okay, this is really kind of a bad situation for me. I was all excited up until right now. This box, um, I may try to, I may try to, uh, use one of these but this is actually an old box of honey we got two options on doing this i can shake them into i can shake them into a tote put a little hole on it we're going to set the box here and leave it all day um i might could set this one box down there we might could get them to go in but then it makes it a little bit harder um i'm not real i'm not real happy about the comb so i'm probably just going to go ahead and use the uh use the tote this is a real this will be real good for some of y'all to understand but you can shake bees in just about anything. Uh, How easy was that to make a swarm catch box? Crazy. Now, I've actually got my vacuum, but I don't have enough extension cord where I could probably vacuum them out of there, but that's going to be boring. So what we're going to do is, you know, go ahead and start grabbing some bees out. Let's see if we can find our queen. Now you talk about the most impromptu, have half my stuff in the truck, ain't got half of it. This is a frame of honey that I pulled off of one of my hives that I was gonna try to try to uh, clean it out, get them ready for spring, have, have a new frame. I'm actually gonna take that frame. All right, I'm just gonna set it in there. Now this storage tote has the smell of home, right? I'm gonna use my lid as the ramp. All right guys, so here's the basic setup. I'm gonna try to shake this off because they're so clustered into here. I can't really get in there. They're wrapped around the bush. I wanna try to bust them off of there, let them slide down. They'll immediately start to smell the, the comb that I just put in this box and it'll be familiar to them. It smells like home. They wanna to go to that. Right now these bees are homeless. So you give them something that smells like home, size wise, dark box to a degree, they're gonna accept it pretty easy. If we can find our queen and she's not an unmated, which she may end up just bouncing around to flying here a bit, may make it a little harder to find her. Hmm, let me see your camera. Man, you wanna see the size of this thing? Look at all them bees back there. That's a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. Pretty cool, can you see it? Yeah. All right, let's see how, see what kind of mood they're in. See what kind of mood they're in. Not too bad. All right, let's go for the shake. All right, now they're about to go and start flying around here pretty good. So just, if you get one to land on you, just be real chill.
hardest bush in the world to get bees out of is one of these. The old boxwoods. Where you at, girl? Where you at? Now watch, see how they're start they're starting to kind of march in there? The ones inside are telling them, hey, we're good here. There's something in here we like, we want to go in. This is great. I still got a small cluster over here, but they're starting to take to the box. That's what we want. So we'll let these go in the box, kind of chill out for a few minutes. And then what I'll do is I'll get a little bit more of these, we'll put them down in there, and we'll let them all just go in a little bit at a time. Okay, so you got a hole down there at the bottom of the yes, box. Sir. So yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now while they're doing this, I'm going to take a chance, and I want to see if my queen is actually inside of here already. That's pretty cool. They're already getting on that cone. They give them some food. They're probably hungry. All right, you see how calm they're actually acting right now? I'm gonna say real comfortably, she's in here. I still want to catch her because we're going to have to leave the box basically sitting here for the rest of the day. Um, because we're at a car dealership and you know people coming and going, safety always first, the straggler bees would have nowhere to go as opposed to leaving the box, come back and pick it up tonight, and they'll, they'll stay here with this. They'll figure out to get into the box and um, you know they'll be happy. So confused bees, homeless bees with no queen, they can get mad and that could put you know, people in a situation where somebody might get hurt. We're not going to do that. How about this? Check this out. See that? All right, that's the queen. Hmm. The longer abdomen. All right. She's got a bigger little spot on the back of her head right there. But that's the abdomen. Now, right now... Right now, the abdomen is not as long as what it would be on the other bees because they've slimmed her down so that she can fly, all right? But now I'll put her in one of these cages. Go on, baby girl. Get in there. Get in there. Go on. All right, so I put her in this little cage and you see this little tab right there what i can do is take this tab off all right now she can't get out of there she'll try but she can't get out however the other worker bees can get in here and actually feed her and keep her happy for the next couple days until i release her into a beehive amongst them and then she'll just go right back into being the normal queen so but look at, I mean, look at how chill they are. Everybody's just happy. They're hanging out. All right. But they got, they're covering her up. So they know where their queen's at. They know she's in there. And if you kind of look, they're probably going to try to go in there to feed her. I hope we can get one to go down in there. Now we're at that point of hurry up and wait. I mean, I'll slide some of these off. Come on, girls. Get, get out the way. Come on. Let me put my top down. Real easy. Give him a chance to get out of the way. Mm. There's another one, man. I tell you, this this stuff just gets better and better every time. 
every story, every swarm is, is, is like a Christmas present to me. You get the call, you know you got one there, you get there and you know, circumstances are a little bit different. You gotta adapt to it. I wanna thank Jarvis Rawls from uh, Ronnie Watkins Ford, my friend, I admit, fully uh, a good buddy of mine. I've known him for 10 years, but he knows that I mess with the bees and everything. He called me this morning and he said, hey, uh, yeah, you still doing the bee thing? And I said, man, I know it's been a few months we talked, but you know I'm doing the bee thing. He said, well, I got a big old swarm over here at the, at the dealership. And I, yeah, it was. Um, they pulled up the pickup truck and got out and the bees were flying everywhere and freaked everybody out. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. And uh, greetings from Gadsden, Alabama. And uh, don't squash a bee, they sting you. But uh, cool days. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.